Uh, this is a rebuild of my turret clock. It's now just a straightforward clock. It has a sweep second hand and a straightforward hour and minute hand. It strikes the hours and the quarter hours. The going train of the clock is very simple and it's done with a synchronous motor. Here is a device that gives the clock a tick and it also prevents the synchronous motor from starting in the wrong direction. If it starts in the wrong direction it's stopped by the little strip there and it just goes the other way. That's what synchronous motors do. The clock loses about two or three minutes a day and surprisingly that is due to the synchronous motor. I've checked it. I guess it's just not a clock grade synchronous motor. It's just designed for microwave ovens and things like that. The striking is controlled by a rack. The rack is pushed up according to the position of the snail. I'll show you that when the time comes for the mechanism to operate. The quarter hour striking is much simpler. It's purely this can which has three teeth. There's no quarter hour strike at the hour of course because that would be confusing. I'll advance the clock to a position when it's just about to strike the hour. The clock can be adjusted here. You pull out the sky and you turn it and then it goes back in when, to be driven by the motor. It's about to strike the quarter hour, quarter past nine. So you see here the lever on top of the three tooth quarter hour cam it's getting near the point where it will drop and that will just strike the gong here. A ball bearing race. It makes quite a nice sound. We can get it to focus. There we go. Just caught it there. Very simple. The hour striking is more complex, of course. When the clock gets to the warning position, which is about five minutes before the hour, the rack drops down onto the snail so that it knows how many teeth it has to be lifted back and each time it's lifted it also strikes. Okay, well I managed to run it too far so we didn't see the rack drop. Anyway it did and you see here that the threaded pin is resting on the 10 position of the snail. That means that this bush wheel with the pin, or the pallet as it's called, will have to lift up the rack 10 times, 10 teeth, and then uh, the chiming will stop. There's another can here. It's difficult to see because it's behind the quarter hour can. When it drops, this will start the mechanism and the clock will strike, hopefully, 10 times. One interesting thing here is that this micro switch shorts out the striking motor so that this wheel with the threaded pin that will be called the pallet stops in exactly the right place which is clear of the teeth. It would be no good if it stopped when it was engaged with the teeth.
the motor is started and stopped by these two micro switches here and to be honest I can't remember how this works um, I started this clock at least six months ago if not before then well that's it the clock is working well I use it to tell the time in my Meccano workshop it does lose about two minutes a day but as I said that appears to be the problem with the synchronous motor itself Okay, thanks for watching.